Hi friends, welcome to another video blog. So this one is going to be one of my longest or if not the longest video blog I've ever uploaded to this channel. And the reason for that is because the video blog you guys are about to watch is from 2017, so it's from last year. And initially I didn't really feel like it would be relevant to go back that like far back and edit a video blog, but I was on um, an Instagram feed with you guys, like a live Instagram session, and you guys mentioned wanting to see it. I brought it up and um, I was happy to go back, dig up the videos and edit them. And um, it made me think, you know, maybe I'll do this with other videos that are a little bit too old. Um, I will go back and if the videos are, were meant to be a couple of video blogs, I can just combine them into one, like this one you guys are about to watch. But yeah, so this is from October of 2017 when I went to New Orleans and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I just basically put four videos into one, four or five videos. I was gonna do four videos, I think. So yeah, this is from last year. I hope that you guys enjoy it. So yeah, I'm gonna do this to other videos as well, kind of go back and see what I've recorded from the past and edit them for you guys. And in the beginning of those videos, I will always make one like this, just so then you know that this is an old video, so you don't get confused. But that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and um, I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Hello friends. So today's the day that I'm going to be flying to New Orleans and I'm going to catch a cab and a little bit to the airport. It's currently 9.30. I have to call a cab at 10 and hopefully they'll get here on time. I'm flying two hours, I think, after I get to the airport, so plenty of time. Um, I've taken pretty much everything. I have just the last few things that I have to put in my luggage or my carry-on or somewhere. Um, my luggage is full, but it's not heavy. It's just a lot of fluffy costumes. Um, originally, I was going to take two checked luggages and one carry-on with my beautiful um, Killstar backpack, which I will show off later. Um, I originally got it for my mom, actually, and she she never used it, even though she has another Killstar backpack that she loves but I stole it back from her and now it's officially mine and it's so big and like the quality is amazing and so that aside um, just a couple of last minute things I have to throw in my luggage um, or my bag before I get going contact lenses things like that very last minute things that are just like everywhere last night was actually one of the few nights I managed to get some sleep before um, a flight and that was really good because the last time I flew anywhere it was to uh, Austria for Conclave Festival also um, put together by Father Sebastian um, I had a seizure mid-flight I think you guys have heard the story by now and we came back to Vancouver we did a bunch of tests nothing came back weird everything was very very normal we did x-rays and um, EEGs and I have an MRI for uh, December just kind of like a last-minute thing but yeah nothing came out weird and um, they all narrowed it down to stress lack of sleep and you know just the typical stuff that I've been hospitalized for in the past not taking care of myself and um, I pulled an all-nighter the night before I think by now the first the day one of the video blog is out and you guys hear me saying that I'm pulling an all-nighter and I I am now afraid of my own body. I'm not going to pull an all-nighter anymore. So last night I just had to bed earlier. I packed everything early in the day. I, I, I was running errands like weeks in advance so that I can relax on the last day. I managed to just work, grab some something to eat so I don't have to cook. And I came home and I prepared everything. It is currently 9.40. I have 20 minutes to go get changed wearing Killstar as usual on my flight. I have this comfortable dress by them and I'm gonna wear that. Yeah, so lo really looking forward and hopefully won't have another seizure on my flight because I did sleep and I had a good breakfast. I'm gonna continue my breakfast at the airport with some kick-ass coffee and muffin, decent muffin I can do with that. I'm gonna go. I don't, I don't know why I'm talking so much. I think I'm just very excited about today. And uh, going through customs is always interesting when they ask us, like, what are you doing in America? I'm like, oh, party? What kind of party? Really, do you want to know, sir? Vampire party. And I just keep having to have this conversation with them. It's like, oh, what's in your luggage? Lots of costumes. Why is there stage blood in your carry-on? I don't know. Um, so, typical stuff. They've even opened my, like, my little 
I have this uh, bag, like where I put my like stuff in, like lip balms, and I have my fangs in there whenever I go to these events. They, cause they hear like clicking, so they think it's like pills. They open and they're like, what are these? And I'm like, fangs, they're like, how? And I had to actually put them on and be like, fangs, duh. Uh, but okay, I'm gonna go. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Welcome. Hopefully the other ones I'm not going to talk this much. But this is the first one. And I, it's my ch I channel. My channel I get to talk. But yes, much love. And I will see you guys in other parts of the video. Bye. Sorry for the mess in the back and the creepy doll. I love the creepy doll. But yes, this is going to be the dress that I'm going to be wearing um, during my flight. Um, Killstar topping it up with this cardigan. I'm going to try and get some back detail. It is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm basically gonna look like death during my flight, which is just, you know, the usual. And this is the backpack I was talking about. Yes, you can't go wrong with a pentagram in everything you wear. <laughs> outside of a Starbucks and having a mediocre coffee waiting for my waiting for my flight um, I have about 30 minutes before I have to go get on the flight and not really looking forward to it but you know you gotta do what you gotta do and yeah that's about it I got through customs and I carry so many electronics with me they have to run each one of them individually and like manually test them and stuff so it's a bit fun um, but I have to carry them because they'll break if I don't carry them with me it's like a bunch of stabilizers laptop iPad but yeah that's about it hopefully um, I can get going soon but meanwhile just found enough room to sit here and enjoy my coffee but I will see you guys in the next part Bye. Take a shit on the floor, <laughs> drop your pants and panties. <laughs>
What you doing, Shonda? I don't know. Now we're trying. So this to is my crib. Hey, so this is. Welcome, to Sweet Sixteen. This is my crib, bitch, on Vampire Edition. Check it. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. hey girl. <laughs> Hey, at least I work out so I got a body. If not, then like, shit, fuck me if I'm on fucking Weight Watchers Anonymous. <laughs> so we're, a great intro. So we're in a mansion and it's absolutely beautiful. I already gave you guys like a little tour, but it's kind of magical actually. And I'm trying to figure out if there's Wi-Fi here so that, uh, so that, oh, there's a bed. But... How romantic. Very pretty. Very classy. I like it. And then, oh, it's too dark now. But there's a big ass mirror. I love big ass mirrors. And they're, they're having a pool party outside, but I brought my bathing suit, but I'm not doing the pool party today. And they're in the water. Fun! But I will join them in a moment, but I will just sit outside and uh, watch. <laughs> but yeah, so we're in a mansion in New Orleans. Hello world. Oh my god, I'm on, <laughs> I'm on uh, uh, Ma Cam. Yeah, you're on Ma Cam. It's a good cam. <laughs> Makes it look good. I, we just finished eating at Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes yeah. is the like total shit food of, uh, of New Orleans. Really, it was actually food. good. I know, right? It was really, really Look good. Look at the side there. That's... Oh, wow. Yeah, this is called the Quarter House. It's a time show. New Orleans is um, a 300-year-old city of doom and death and drugs and alcohol. And it's exciting. Yes. It's exciting. You'll it's probably fun. see someone get shot while you're here. Ooh. Look, they got a leader house. That's a New Orleans diamond. I want to walk here. I, I know you made a safe zone for us to stay with him. Yes. So I'm safe. going to, after my meet and greet tomorrow, go for a little walk. And, well, I'll, uh, I'll sign a, a gentleman to take care of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, and escort you around the building. Oh, I'm going to have an escort. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. I'll probably gonna... send Zeke out with you. That's perfect. Yeah. I'm going to just record a little bit, walk around a bit, show you guys this beautiful yeah. city. It's actually, it's going to um, look better in the morning. It's really, really, really sold out this weekend, The Endless Night. We uh, have probably the best promotion we've ever had. And uh, uh, Ma has really helped a lot. Uh, this is Joy behind us. Hi, Joy. Joy's from LA. Yay, LA. How do you do the LA hand thing? Oh, LA. <laughs> uh, can you do a New York? Is it possible to do New York? Yeah. I'll Why are you throwing gang signs? Why are you throwing gang signs? Don't be fooled by that smile. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yo, girl. <laughs> Kicking some A. <laughs> Kicking some A. So, it's so lovely. Do you like oysters for real? We had this conversation in Los Angeles. Oh yeah, we <laughs> tried it together. Remember that? I we did it in the honor of the kittens. I mm, not for me. Okay, never I'm again. Good. Never again. Oh, I'm is sorry. there is there an alternative to oysters? Maybe there are always are alternatives. Cooked oysters? No, you wanna have raw, because they're still alive. Oh fuck, no. Mm. Yeah. I'm good. So like uh, so we're under the Marriott um, on a, some side street, going back to our hotel. The House of Blues is up to the left. It's an awesome space. I got some good news tonight, but I can't tell anybody. <laughs> no! But it, this is not gonna go up until like after I come back from the UK. I can't say, because okay. it's top secret. Ooh, can you tell me when I turn no. it off? Then I, why are you teasing? Because I like doing that shit. It's Don't so much do this fun. To me. I know, it like puts a hole in your head. Going the right way. I have yeah. I trust him. I trust you. One time in Manchester, we walked for like an hour, and then I, I noticed we we're walking around the same block with him. Yeah, and he was just like walking and talking, and I was like, I trust where you're going. He knows. He knows. This is, his city. is it though? This is my city for one week a year. Oh. And you still got this. City. Walking in New Orleans, Vancouver girl in an actually old city. I feel, I love it here, it's amazing. Like seeing buildings with actual history, throwing some shade. Some shade. Throwing some shade towards Vancouver right now. I love yeah. you, Vancouver, but. Hello friends, uh, this is day two, technically day one of me being in New Orleans. Um, last night we were in some 
mansion, I guess. It was more like a big house. Um, and everybody jumped in the pool, but I didn't do anything. I just kind of sat there and I, I went live on Facebook with you guys <clears throat> for like an hour. And um, currently I am packing because I have to go for the meet and greet. So today is the Mavsun meet and greet and it's going to be happening at 3 p.m. It was going to happen at... 2 p.m. I just thought somebody's knocking. I was gonna happen at 2 p.m. But last night I moved it because I I wanted to get enough sleep so I can actually be functional as a as a person today. So yeah. Oh, I love this lighting. I want to show you guys the view here. This is the view from the hotel, and the lighting is so good. I like this lighting. It's perfect. But I heard that um, New Orleans is very uh, humid and warm so I hope that I'm prepared for this and yeah so I'm gonna continue getting ready I just have to like brush my hair and dress and keep yeah go and find the place that I chose for the meet and greet I think it's like a 10 minute walk from the hotel and I'm gonna get there early because I have to eat something I'm starving and there's a mall here that I want to try and, and find because I heard there's an Alta and we don't have Altas in Canada I don't think we do and I've always wanted to see an Alta I was in uh, Los Angeles and nobody drove me to an Alta and I had no time to go see an Alta anyway um, even if someone was like hey I'll give you a ride to an Alta I keep saying Alta a lot in this video but yeah so I didn't get to see Alta it all day again um but yeah i'm gonna <coughs> my throat is getting better i was like suffering from a kind of a cold i guess a couple of days ago and thankfully i'm, I'm better now and um yeah have to get going soon it's 207 p.m and yeah it's it's fun tomorrow is the vampire ball the main main event and my main performance as well and i'm really looking forward to that because it's just it's gonna be probably like my most like i don't know my most epic performance because i just i don't know maybe it is maybe it isn't but i hope it is but the crowd is gonna be i think the biggest crowd i've ever performed in front of it has to be the biggest crowd like yeah if we're gonna count the numbers it should be the biggest crowd i've performed in front of and yeah really really looking forward to that and um we kind of said that these videos are not gonna get to you guys until after like december so yeah but that's about it. Hopefully I can get some footage of the meet and greet for you guys and so you can see the amazing people that came and um, I'm excited, really excited. Uh, there are a couple of people that I've known for a long time that I'm meeting and I just can't wait. Like it's just, it's gonna be perfect today. But yes, I'm gonna go eat something because I had just like a little bit of egg, an egg to eat last night and then it's like 2 p.m. now. So, and I only, I survived on like, airplane food which is terrible horrible horrible food but yeah i will see you guys in another part of the video bye hello welcome madam how, how are you, are you? good to see excellent. you excellent walk in there a little bit see what's going on Enjoy. Just a tease. Ever so slowly. And that's all you're going to get for now. Oh! It's me! Spoiler! <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited, but we're going to go inside and meet other people. Say bye, Brandon. Bye. Bye. Another friend. Hi. Hi. Introduce yourself. Again. I'm Glenn. I've been following her work since, God, how long has it been? Uh, DeviantArt days, about, God, almost a decade ago. Uh, no, it, it was sometime after 2010 because I think you liked either a Nightwish or Epica photo of mine that I put up there. I think that's oh how. God. Yes! 
this is why I love being here. Like this is this is why I'm here. Okay, this the dancing and, school. And finally, she comes to my neck of the woods. I'm I'm a Mississippi boy. She's from fucking Vancouver. Uh, Vancouver. Where is that? <laughs> All right. so, somewhere in the great white north. It doesn't they, matter. Yeah. It doesn't exist. It's a fantasy world. North There's of the wall. Unicorns. White walkers and night <laughs> Just a little, just a little update, you guys. I didn't. I just noticed this on him. He didn't. He's a sneaky guy. Yep. He didn't tell me that this actually happened. Can you show them the other tattoo you of have? Course. Look at that. That is my uncle. And guess what this is? This is the verse that um, I translated for the song Medusalam for Moonspell. So, Moonspell and Mav. Oh, Brandon. Brandon, you're gonna make me cry. You don't make me blush. You're gonna make me your blushing, Brandon. God. Oh my god, this is so cool. Show me it, show me it. Yes. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> so cool, so cool. Let's show the other one. Got the other one. That's me. Wait. It's my first time seeing it and like my first day seeing it in person. I'm amazed. And there's another one, isn't there? Yeah. Chest tattoo. Do it. Mavsoon logo. That's my. That's actually my logo. Like, that's the logo, guys. Dedication. Brandon, you're awesome. Brandon, thank you. I'm honored. Let's go. Are you recording too? It's pretty awesome, man. I mean, give somebody a tattoo on your face and. We're walking in New Orleans. There's so much culture here. It's crazy. Look. Hi, beautiful. Zombie ah. friends, you know. Yes. Cheers, my friend. I'm just having an Americano. Now enjoy that. I'm gonna put sexy music now. Jackson Square, apparently. <laughs> Look at that shit! Ah! Sorry. Oh my it's God. so cool! It's photo bombing. I'm never coming back to Vancouver. <laughs> Bye, Vancouver. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Where's that from? She's ours! <laughs> I'm theirs now! Let's just do a gentle one. Uh, USA, 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 Canada! USA. No! Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, the best part of today's meet and greet is I'm going to Sephora with these gentlemen. <laughs> This is so me, like I'm just, I'm just like you guys, we're so cool, we're just surrounded by a bunch of people dressed up as vampires, but there's a Sephora though. There is a Sephora, I prefer to go to Sephora than get drunk, and they were like, okay, and so these are my type of people. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Sephora now, in America. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys like, what kind of lipstick do you like? Uh, like I feel like pink is so clear. Pink is totally more colorful. I'm having so much fun here. What is my life right now? <laughs> You're in a Sephora with me, I'm trying to decide which ones I should go with. I think the pink one would look better on you. Why, yes, the pink. The baby pink. Hello, friends. So we are in some beautiful... Hi, Sebastian and Sebastian's people. <laughs> we are... I'm gonna... There you go. 
See? <laughs> You're being recorded by Mahafusi. Yes. And we are in what? Where are we exactly? We are on St. Louis Street at Antoine's, a famous restaurant. Antoine's. And uh, we're here for a vampire event. It's a role play thing. And um, I'm down. So um, these are some fancy ass people having dinner. And I'm just walking down their window like. But. Um, Oh, this lighting is better. So yeah, this is kind of what I've got going on today. Got a Killstar dress, and uh, Sebastian is currently live on Facebook, and uh, I am up here, and you can see all the people here in New Orleans. This is such a classic, beautiful area. I just, I can't get over how much culture there is in New Orleans. Vancouver is amazing, but this is like, this is a different world. As soon as you enter, it's a different world. There's a role play thing happening, uh, LARP, and um, there are like colors of things you get and you have to kind of abide by those colors. It, it, it tells you what personality you have. There are a couple of songs they're gonna play and if it's your song, you have to stay quiet no matter what happens. Um, it's really fun, it's really interesting. I've never done something like this before, but apparently it's popular, so I really want to try it out. I don't know if I can record anything during that, but I wanted to show you guys where I am right now. I am in the city of the, of the vampires, and uh, I feel good about that right now. I feel like I could live here, and, and this is one of my dream cities now to come back to whenever I feel like just walking down the street and feeling epic. I'm gonna go back inside. It hasn't started yet from my understanding. I've never done this before, so this is pretty fun. And role-playing, I love that because I, I I used to do theater acting. I don't know if I'm any good anymore, but I used to do theater acting when I was in high school, so maybe my acting skills will come in handy, but aren't we all actors really in this play of life, perhaps? Sebastian! How are you doing? I'm well. Good. I have a brush. I must brush my hair on the video. Hold brush on. hair. Oh, the brush is gone. You left it at home. Okay, did you see it? No, you took it to the bathroom last time. Oh no, that's a very, very rare use your, brush. Use your nails. Do what I do, yeah, there you go. There you go. Luscious hair. You should be in a Pantene commercial. I need Pantene. Yes. I've got some hair um, oil. Is it? It's really good. I, no, like it's yours? argan. Your oh. hair will be like mine. My hair will be like yours. Can we do this for the ball? We can. Will you do my hair? I will do your hair. I will do your hair. You still can't say my name. We've been friends for a long time. I know. I'm dyslexic. Can hard. you say my birth name? Sure. Can you pronounce? You lived in. Where did you live? Yeah, but you're not Dubai. Arab. Furu. Furu. Farooq. 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 There you go. Not Turqa. Farooq. Farooq. It ends with a Farooq. 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 You're doing good. I'm practicing. You're practicing. All right. I will see you guys in another part of the video. Say bye, Sebastian. Au revoir. Eat well, my friends. and then go and get some dinner. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yay, food. I haven't had anything all day except um, Subway. <laughs> yeah. Every time you say Subway, it's a sucker punch. He gets so offended that I had No, Subway. because there's po look, there's po' boys here. Uh, New Orleans has the best restaurants in the world. Perfect. I'm going to go to one real restaurant tomorrow and yeah, have real food. No Subway tomorrow, I promise. I, I will prove it. I will I will take a video of the person making my food so I can prove that I had real food tomorrow. I will do that. Bye.
Guys, it's raining and, and we can't do this. I just straightened my hair. Are you okay? Nasty. Yeah. That was unexpected. I'm just thankful that the iPhone is kind of water proofish. I think. I think. Is it? We're gonna find out. We just went to the um, Vampire Freaks event that it was, I think, sponsored? I don't know. It was really fun. It was really cool. Interesting music. And now we're heading back to the hotel. My, my friend here. She's wearing the highest heels I've ever seen in my life. Hot mess right here. No, in a good way. In, in the greatest way you could possibly be, my friend. You're good. And uh, we're just gonna, we're just excited to go remove this makeup. Yes, I'm so yes. tired. I, I've never been more excited to get in my onesie. I'm like, I'm, I cannot be a full-time vampire. Let's go on this trip! Yeah, I just wanna like... Yeah. New Orleans, guys, in New Orleans. But no, we're gonna go home now. And, and sleep and remove this makeup. Bye. Hello world. So this is officially day three, I think, of being in New Orleans. I think if I'm not, well, day two actually, because I arrived on the midnight of the, uh, first day so I guess the first day doesn't really count so this is day two kind of day three of here and I'm heading over to the House of Blues because I'm gonna be seeing uh, I'm gonna be seeing uh, Sebastian and I'm going to go grab some coffee and uh, look I'm vlogging in an unknown place this is dedication and vlogging in a place I know nothing about and it's surprisingly comfortable. So we're here and I'm gonna go find him. And yeah, that's about it. So in other parts of the video, I'm gonna show you guys about the night, what's gonna happen. I'll be performing tonight. It's the big night. It's the, um, the vampire ball. And this makeup is the dark Isis makeup that I did. So I'm excited. I will see you guys. Bye. Fabulous. So look who I found. Hey. You're really tall. I, I have know, to, you are too. I'm out of the frame. Well, Not you wearing heels. Feel so. Shut up. How, how tall are you? I'm 6'4". Wow. Or 132 You centimeters? could be a basketball player. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Hell no. Instead you want to be... I'm actually a tattoo artist, so I'm already good. That's amazing. Yeah. You need to fix up my... I will. As soon as I get my gear down one year, I will Yay. happily take care of it for you. Where do you tattoo from? I tattoo in Long Island. Long Island. Do you have a place where you want to shout out that you do it? Pretty much. I will shout out Ink Studios. That is a studio that I always love and whatnot. Personally, I don't tattoo there, but right now looking for a new place. First class tattoo in Manhattan too. Uh -huh. Great shop. Um, uh, Empire State Studios in Andyville, check them out, Tommy Helm, great artist, yes. pretty much shopping up. Wait, we're waiting for Joy. We're waiting for Joy. 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 So what are you doing? I am with you guys today, I don't know, I'm gonna grab coffee and come, are you going to a goth shop? Yeah, that's yeah. what we're doing now. Let's do a goth shop, it's really cold today. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna grab something when I go up, you're gonna grab something yeah. too? Give me a coat. Ooh, I'm good, I have one up there. Okay. That's a really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Off. All right, guys, we're gonna. Hello, lovely. Hi. Hey. Are we going back to the hotel? No? Oh, never mind. I'm imagining things. We're going to the place. Yes, let's go to the place. I thought we we're going up to grab him something. What do you want to grab? Nothing. I don't need to grab anything. I'm good. All right, we will see you guys. Wind, yes. We are on a mission. I mean, they're on a mission, but I'm just tagging along. <laughs> I'm bored. We can and uh, they're looking for a Shrine of Hollywood coat for Mr. Father Sebastian. Monsieur. <laughs> um, and yeah, shout out to uh, Shrine of Hollywood, only the best. So yeah, we're in New Orleans looking okay. for a shrine. Exciting. We right are here is the famous place. Café du Mont. Yes. Yeah. Café du Mont. Café du Mont. Yes. Du Mont. You du Mont. Might, you du Mont. show a picture of it. Du Mont. Really, really <laughs> good beignets here. Beignets. What are they in? Beignets. Yeah. Like Yeah, that's it. There's a huge line. Look at the line. They're all here for this coffee. What do they put in the coffee? I wonder. Hmm. 
only the best of things, my friends. So, walking to grab some Starbucks because that's the only decent coffee I can easily find here. Other coffee shops are a little bit harder to get into. And that really nice one, there's a lineup for it. <clears throat> so Starbucks is the best I can get right now. It's okay, a couple of days from now, I'm going to be in Manchester and I will be having Cafe Nero and Costa all day, every day. So I'm not gonna complain. But then after this, Hassle Blues, I'm gonna meet up with them. Got myself some shit from Sephora. When I see one, I have to go in, you know? I suddenly needed dry shampoo. So yeah, I will see you guys. So I really wanted to try that zombie thing, but it doesn't have enough caffeine or none at all, probably. I'm in some mall in New Orleans. I don't know. I don't know where I am, but I'm trying to find an Alta here because I don't think we have that in Canada. So I want to see if I can find that here. And then after that, I'm going to run back to the House of Blues. I just saw a mall and I was like, bye. I need to go to a mall by myself. All right, I found one of those bulletin boards where it says like, what, um, what, what? By the way, they put Rosie. I said Rose. That's my fake English name. Because nobody can ever. Oh, this place smells so good. I like their hand creams. Um, yeah, so I saw one of those like bulletins where it says what shops we have, and they didn't have an Alta. I mean, I'm in America. I want an Alta so badly. So far, is good, but I hear Alta all the time, and I really need to go. But I'm going to leave them all now. Yeah, I didn't even see anything. I just kind of looked and I'm like, it looks kind of boring. It's like J. Crew and such. Michael Kors, I like them, but not, nah, not interested right now. And I'm gonna try and find House of Blues. I'm kind of, I feel lost because I, I just went here and I like moved around. So I don't know if I go back. I'm gonna go the right direction, but let's hope I make it alive back. I made it back to our hotel alive. I got the costume from Alandra, my dark Isis goddess costume with the headpiece. She's fantastic. I'm gonna try and get her in a video talking about the costume if I, you know, if I can. Um, it's gonna be a busy night, but yeah, made it home. So I'm almost ready for the ball, and this is my costume, but um, it, it could look better. I'm not very good at shooting this, but I am dark Isis, the goddess of everything. This beautiful costume was made by Alandra, especially for me, and she made this for me. I'm like so honored. All this little red hanging out is my costume underneath the original costume because I'm not gonna have a lot of time to change into my belly dance costume, and this costume is quite um, detailed. So this is just kind of um, a way for me to like change really fast. But it's got, you know, this has a nice wing to it, and I'm very, very excited. I'm not even doing this properly, but this is a costume. Hopefully you guys are gonna see a better um, video and photo from this and I'm definitely gonna be shooting with this in Vancouver as well. But really quickly, this is my costume for now. got to the voodoo garden but we cannot find the changing room so joy is running around trying to figure out where it is did you find it okay coming so we're in the house of blues and this is what it looks like it's very big i'm gonna be dancing in front of people here tonight my headpiece is like not cooperating, but yeah, this is a house of blues. Thank you. 
I just finished performing a while ago. It took me about, hello, <laughs> thank you. It took me about um, 20 minutes to get some of the blood off and I still have blood everywhere and my hair is sticky. My good friend Brandon recorded um, the video for me and I was feeling hopeless before that because I thought I wasn't gonna get a video out of this bloody performance but he managed to get um, video for me and he was wonderful and he was just so helpful so thank you Brandon and the video is gonna be up if it's not already linked down below and um, what can I say about this uh, it was really fun you guys will notice those of you that are quite smart I'm not gonna hide it I wasn't prepared for the uh, the blood to be so thick and sticky very very sugary um, and it's worse than like honey. It's kind of like honey actually. And uh, the only time I ever felt this blood was in the shower. So I had like water, kind of watering it down. I had no idea it would be this sticky. So at one point my, my hand got stuck in my hair and um, I'm like trying to play it off. Like it's a part of the dance routine where my hand is stuck to my chest. And I keep like doing hair flips to like bring the, my hand out of my hair and I finally just pull my hand and a bunch of my hair comes out and um, that's like what did I do? what did I do and <laughs> I still have not seen the video I know the video turned out very well like from you know the perspective that it was recorded and everything but I don't know if it's pretty obvious but you know if it's not obvious now you know the secret if it is obvious I do apologize you know it was uh, but it was really fun it was just fun but it hurt so much I was basically like pulling my hair for um, the last bit just trying to get like the, my, my fingers were stuck in there but it was super fun and um, I haven't had anything to eat or drink all day so I'm enjoying um, a diet Pepsi uh, an NFL diet Pepsi apparently I just whatever I could find and the and the VIP backstage but yeah so that's about it guys um, I don't know how I'm gonna get from here to the hotel without you know scaring everybody um, I am gonna scare a few people but uh, I just, not enough, I don't have enough baby wipes for this mess right now. So I have to walk home and uh, take a shower. And I'm going to stain everything. Like I, when I was um, around in my first costume, I was like able to like hug people and say hello. And now I'm just like kind of standing in the corner for people to move so I can walk past them. Because I will get stuck to whatever I touch. I am like, my hair is a, a rock right now. It's just, it's a mess, but I love it. This is like photo shoot worthy right now. I just want to give you guys like a full like, yeah. I'm glad I didn't use more than this blood because I got some everywhere. I wasn't um, really, I wasn't expecting it to get up here, but you know, it got up here as well. Got some on my nose. But yeah, extremely fun. It was my first time using um, this, kind, this, you know, stage blood on stage. But um, yeah, and I didn't make a mess. Um, there was just a little bit of it on stage. But um, yeah, it's, the mess is all on me right now. So that's very good. Oh my goodness, one thing. We had a male belly dancer that went up right before me. Uh, I'm not gonna butcher his stage name. He was mesmerizing. He went first and then there were two acts and then I went last. And I was just up there like, like screaming and he was just beautiful so graceful I took a little bit of video and that's about it guys for tonight um, I think this will be the end of the video my outro um, for those of you that don't like gory things I do apologize this is this is a show and it must go on <laughs> no matter how um, I thought it would be cuter than this but you know whatever yeah and there is a cute um, the first band that went up they have a little kid and it's so cute and she's just kind of sitting there like looking at me very sweetly so there's a child here but I'm not they're not scared of me which is perfect um, yeah I'm gonna head out this has been amazing very very inspiring and um, I hope that you guys enjoy the belly dance video and I hope that um, it was a good decision to try something different on stage and be a little bit more interactive and um, theatrical but tomorrow's performance is going to be a lot simpler gonna be basically like all of my studio uh, videos very um very relaxed you know no stage blood there's just gonna be mask basically that's that's my prop I have to wear a mask um, but yeah that's about it my hair as you can see it's stuck in one position I'm gonna go finish my coke 
and there is a delicious sandwich waiting for me back in the hotel that I bought yesterday night. Um, hopefully it's still good, there's cheese on it, I might die. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope you guys have a beautiful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you guys in the next video, bye! night here um, in New Orleans and I'm gonna be performing um, in a little bit at the foundation room uh, here it's very close to the House of Blues I don't know if they're connected but this place is absolutely beautiful it's just it's just so so stunning I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour very beautiful out there it's kind of loud so I came back here to record a quick little video for you guys let you guys know that this is my last day here and um, after the performance I'm running back to the hotel to pack up and leave. I'm leaving um, in the morning at 6 and uh, I'm going to be grabbing an Uber to the airport and uh, going to be there at 6 a.m. So actually leaving at 6 a.m. So I have to be back as soon as possible. I'm gonna show you guys, this is so cool. I don't know if I should be back here but I just, I need to show you how cool this place is. Look at that. I want, this is what my house should look like. This is what my home should look like. But I'm gonna go back out there and start getting ready for my performance. It is going to be in, whoop, drop my phone almost. It is 10 p.m. at 11.45. So after my performance, I am out. I'm going home, I have to rest, get a little bit of sleep. I'm gonna be in Dallas for um, a good six hours tomorrow before my flight actually happens. And I will let you guys know how the night goes. I've never danced with a mask before. I don't think I have. So this is going to be interesting. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. Try new things in New Orleans. Bye. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Vlogception. My new friend, Mahapsun. Hello, guys. And my new friend, Lucifer. I'm not as talented as her, but yeah, I'm trying. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look, this beautiful place I was showing them right. earlier. <laughs> Hello again, world. So I managed to find and drag here the lovely, lovely designer that made that beautiful dark Isis um, costume that I showed off yesterday in the yesterday's vlog. Here she is, Alondra. Please introduce Hello. her lovely self. Hello, I'm Alondra with Graveyard City Clothing. That's it all! <laughs> she is amazing. I actually have a website. It's graveyardcityclothing.com. You can get to all the social media and everything from there. Perfect. See, there was something. Yeah. There, yeah. yeah. there you go. <laughs> and what was the inspiration behind? Like, I, we just basically said dark Isis, but how did you the kind of set. come up? Yeah, how did you... So originally I was um, given a small idea about a dark Isis, a set, and I did some research and it was a lot of gold and big. So I went back to Elizabeth Taylor's um, Cleopatra and all of the Art Nouveau styles that they did with the headdresses, mm -hmm. that's what inspired me. So that's I made amazing. it more 1920s but brought it back with the it was little, just enough sparkle. But it was not perfect. Too much. It was super comfortable to wear and it was, yeah. you know, simple enough. There wasn't anything extra going on that was too much. And you know what? I was worried that the headpiece is not going to stay on, but I, I just put it on there on my straight hair, which is actually harder to get things on. Yeah. And it stayed on the entire night. I didn't have to pin anything in. So oh, you're that's that good. amazing. You didn't even know what my head was like. You didn't <laughs> I just gave you measurements and it was like perfectly fit. So yeah. thank you. And you good. you did something with the wing there. What was the special part about the wing? Um I made them on a, a slave collar so that when you moved them they moved a little freer, but you didn't have to have this giant... And you ordered it in. Yeah, oh yeah, that I got part. it from Paris. She got it from Paris. From um, 
a friend that works for some of the big design firms. She she imports or um, finds fabric for designers and stuff. That's so amazing. She's awesome. Yeah. She actually like I had the idea of like oh what about like the ISIS bangs and she was like I have the perfect. Yeah, I literally just got it. She had the perfect fabric for it and I have not been even my ISIS wing that I have at home is not the, that quality. Great, no, I mean like, this is like. Yeah, she's like amazing. So belly dancers, if you have a costume idea, I mean, right here. Mm -hmm. here. And I make stuff that people can turn their head upside down. Like literally, some of my customers have asked, I have to turn all the way upside down during a show. Of course. And I can do it. Any For performers, level. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yep. There you go. So if you're a dancer, you want something to turn upside down, <laughs> here's your girl. Yeah, no, no. Thank you so much for making that beautiful outfit. I'm Absolutely. so glad that we finally got to meet and I had to drag her back here. So we can... <laughs> I was like, this is my last time here. We have to record a video. Thank you. Thank you. People fell in love with it. Oh, they yeah. So the things that I heard. No. <laughs> so thank you so much for everything. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> My friends, I am here with the beautiful belly dancer Bagoas and it's just, I am blown away. We're going to be dancing together. The plan has changed. We're sharing the stage. I'm sharing the stage for the first time with another belly dancer and you're amazing. Thank you. So are you. I got to see you last night. You were phenomenal. You're just breathtaking. <laughs> it's going to steal the show. I'm just going to be there. Kind of filling Stop up. You. You're amazing. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> of course, it's This whole honor. thing just became like a billion times better. It will be so much fun. You're it's amazing. a beautiful crowd. You're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, dear friends this is the outro for today's video and my hair is up in a mess I am starving I need I, there is a subway waiting for me um, and a half drunk coca-cola bottle <laughs> waiting for me and um, tonight was absolutely amazing one of the best things about the night was that um, I got to share the stage with another belly dancer and his name is Begoas Begoas. I think I'm saying it right. Um, I'm going to link to whatever I can down below. He is absolutely amazing. I believe there's already like a little footage in this video of me just like just fangirling. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for joining the stage with me and for making the performance like a billion times better. I just, it just, I have, um, this is, I'm so inspired. That's all I can say. It was amazing. And there was a um, little drum solo as well that happened. And he didn't know my song. I didn't know his song. We just did it. And we had so much fun. And he is truly one of the sweetest people that I met in this, ex you know, in this entire place. And so I am so honored and so thankful. Thank you for joining the stage. You just made it just godly. And that's really all I can say for, for the, for the, closing um, footage of this video blog I hope that you guys have enjoyed the previous video blogs and I hope that you enjoy the belly dance videos that are going to come out of this perf this this experience or have already been edited and up I'm not sure I might check out the links down below there might be magical stuff for you guys um, of course come in oh I will open the door for you <laughs> Video blog Hello. <laughs> Hi. And I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking forward to going home because I miss my bed, I miss my cat, and I miss my family. 
and I'm gonna see them for one day or less than a day because I'm packing again to leave for a whole month to the UK. So I'm going to be quickly throwing everything in my luggage. I'm not even going to bother folding anything. And then I'm just going to try to sleep and leave tomorrow and really early in the morning and I have a long flight back. Um, maybe there's another video blog day, but I highly doubt it. This might be the last one, I think, but we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to everybody involved for just making all of this possible. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye. So bathroom chicken. Um, I'm staying in a place called Minute Suites and you pay by the hour to sleep in a little room so I just wanted to show you guys what it's like and for the first time I was willing to pay a lot of money to just sleep a little bit that's what happens when you're sleep deprived but my makeup is still decent I believe I mean it's been like more than 24 hours I think so I'm gonna go and show you guys what my little room looks like before I leave so that's my bed it's a couch the room is called Yellow Rose, and it actually has a yellow rose painting. This is I. My stuff. You can use a computer. And I don't know what this is. Is it a bathroom? No, it doesn't open. So I would say it's about a 100 square foot space that I may have just paid, I don't know, maybe 200 Canadian for, but you get to sleep, and that's... They give you candy, which is great. But yeah, this is fantastic. I'm actually, I got a good three hours here of sleep. Don't mind my cheek, it's, it's a candy. I just snuck in there while I'm talking to you guys. It's currently 3.39. I have to leave at 3.45 to make it to my 4.10 p.m. Uh, gate opening or boarding, I guess. And I'm the last group, I think group seven. So they're most likely gonna take my carry-on and check it again. Oh wait, that's a big flight. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. Which is good. I hope they don't do that because I have um, I have a headpiece in there that I don't want it to break made by Alondra. So hopefully um, it's a big flight and I can just take it on the flight with me and just put it up there. But I'm currently in Terminal D. The terminal I have to go to is Terminal A. I'm at the very end, I have to go to the very beginning, I have to go on a nice 10-15 minute ride on this very fast train, that's like a sky train, and um, it's very fast, and it just keeps going, and how, how big is the Dallas airport? But I really realized that I needed a, a little room to stay in, or just anything, because as soon, I usually... I'm never ever asleep when we land because I like that feeling of like when you land. Also I usually throw up. That's why I always take anti-nausea medication and it makes me very sleepy. I took a little bit of it and um, these landings are a lot less hardcore than when I have the long flights that I usually go to the UK. I'm learning things guys. Look at my crazy hair. Um, in the UK, let's say... I'm going from Vancouver to London. The landing, they're basically, the airplane is doing this for about 30 minutes. So my insides are just a mess. Um, for that, I need to take strong anti-nausea medication. For this one, when you're landing, it just kind of goes like this like twice and you're done. Um, so I feel like I've had a much easier landing experience being here and also going to LA so it, there is I'm sure a difference in altitude I'm sure right right there has to be I can't fall asleep in public um I move this to my other cheek mm, that's better I can't fall asleep in public um I can't fall asleep especially if there's somebody next to me that I don't know so I was like I'm definitely sleep deprived I might I might faint who know you know you never know um a while ago I had that stupid seizure and I was very sleep deprived when I had it so for me um, just to feel like I'm taking care of my body I feel like it's 
it's too much, but it's it's worth it being here and just making sure I get at least three three and a half hours um before I have to go. But yeah, it's three forty three. I'm gonna check out. Check out. Would you still consider it a check out from such a small hotel room or space? But no, I love this. I I love that there is a little thing like this where you can just close the door and and sleep. It's beautiful. But um. Could it be a little cheaper, please? Because I'm like, I was dividing the amount by four hours, and I was like, what? Did I just do this? I could have bought so much makeup at Sephora. I could have like, oh, airports do this, so they, they make sure there's nowhere you can rest, so you're here, but life. Um, thank you for watching this portion. I'm gonna head out so I don't miss my flight. Much love.